Good morning. It's time for another early morning flight. That's right. It's 420. Blaze it in the morning. Let's head to Gatwick. I'm going to Gibraltar. Get in the photo. Set. Not a photo. What's the most popular genre of music in Gibraltar? It depends, really. No, is it rock? Because there's the, a there's a giant rock. It's, it's a lot. It's very mixed as well with the Spanish okay. influence. My joke has not landed. I am disappointed. We've now arrived in Gibraltar. Checking out our hotel, which is also a ship. I don't charge you for my hand, huh? <laughs> That's what my girlfriend told me last night. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> That's inappropriate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well. I am on a boat, or rather, to put it more succinctly, I'm on a ship. It's, it actually reminds me of when I was on a, a cruise ship with my friend Ellie. Except this one's pretty stationary. Fun fact, there are only five hotels in all of Gibraltar. Five. I made a joke in the, the van on the way here. I said, like, he said like, oh yeah, there's a couple hotels. I went, what, like five? Yes. It is a very small, small area. Six square miles of area. Five hotels. So. If you've ever been to Gibraltar, there's a 20% chance you've stayed at the same hotel as me. Hypothetically, if we're considering that the lodging is equal amongst all five. However, <laughs> math aside, uh, I'm now going to quickly freshen up, and then I've got lunch at a place called Bianca's to start our journey, and then we're going to go to the rock. Tour of a rock. Throughout the city, I thought it'd be interesting to teach you some different fun facts that I've learned about Gibraltar. It is a fascinating place with quite an interesting history. Let's go. Question to you is, how's the spicy beef Viagra? <laughs> it's quite nice. It's a bit spicy though. It's good. Bit spicy. Yeah, it is. Can you tell me? It's beef, isn't it? That one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Beefy Viagra. Yeah. And here it is, everybody. Spicy beef Viagra. The spicy beef Viagra was actually quite tasty despite its weird name. But next up, we drove towards the most popular destination in all of Gibraltar, the rock. You might not know, but the 426 meter tall rock of Gibraltar is mostly hollow with over 35 miles of tunnels burrowed through it, mostly from World War II as well as from the 18th century. And one thing you'll find all over the rock, you've definitely heard of before, these little monkeys. These wild monkeys are the only wild monkeys in the entirety of the European continent. And though they might seem cute, you really shouldn't interact with the monkeys here for reasons you'll see later in this video. I have a question. In regards to the castle, can you like, once you go in, do you have to keep going back because it's so Moorish? No. <laughs> That's a true question, but I'm very <laughs> <laughs> Next up on the rock was St. Michael's Cave, which is a massive cavern formed from rainwater dripping through the limestone rock over thousands of years. It's currently also an auditorium used for its amazing acoustic properties. I can't believe they're so naturally pink and blue. <laughs> I'm finally getting some mild chuckles here. How many people fit in here? Hundred. The entire population of Gibraltar! So we've now gone up to the Skywalk. Essentially, it's a really high platform, similar to the one I did in there the other day. You can look down, see how high you are. It's, you know, it's pretty standard tourist fare. There's a sandy beach down there with sand from the Sahara Desert. And if you look all the way out there, that is a sunken barge broken in half. Look at him. That's, that's sad. There's currently a population of between 250 and 300 monkeys on Gibraltar. And most of them are located around where we are right now at the top of the rock. However, at some point, there were some mischievous monkeys that were acting up too much. And so to punish them, they sent them to Scotland. I can't think of a better punishment. They're up in some uh, conservatory mountain area in Scotland, so deserve it. Please respect macaques. Thank you, thank you. Next on our trip, we've now visited the Windsor Bridge, a fun suspension bridge to jump on. It's called the Windsor Bridge because the winds are strong. That's not why. Okay, one, two, three. One of the nicest parts about Gibraltar so far, the air smells so good. Oh, it's like, it's just so fresh and smells so 
not London. <laughs> All right, we've finished up at the rock and the suspension bridge, and now we're heading to a gin distillery. Try out some gin. Is that just cleaning alcohol? Yes, it's, yeah. My favorite gin. <laughs> so what's the name of this place? Spirit of the Rock. Why didn't you name it Gin Brawlter? Oh, it's Spirit of the Rock is so much better. <laughs> oh, because there's spirits. It's a spirit. Yeah. Gin is a spirit. What are the Gibraltarians' thoughts on siesta? We don't follow that tradition. <gasps> we are Mediterranean because obviously we're down south, mm. but we do have the British discipline of work. So it's like a nine to five. As if British discipline has <laughs> But you know, nine to five work. Wait, do you guys have beer o'clock? Well, we do after five o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> if there's one thing I like more than alcohol, it, there's actually quite a few, but learning. And boy, I really enjoyed learning about the history of gin while I tried six different types. So that way I could really understand the nuance between each type of gin. It was actually a really good educational experience. But after I was quite a bit tipsy, we then walked through the old city to head to dinner for the evening. So even like Costa Coffee, if you look, you'll find that it's got the, not the traditional Costa logo. That is the old Burger King logo. Essentially, they're not able to update any logos to keep this building as historic as possible. Oh, fish in the water? I can't believe. How do you say ta-da? Ta-da. Oh, just ta-da. Salads. A Syracuse spritz. It's got basil in it. All right, uh, day two. I slept so much last night. It was a good 10 hours, which makes up for the last two nights of an hour and a half and three hours of sleep. So, wow, I actually feel refreshed, but I still had to wake up with an alarm. Going down to breakfast and seeing what the day in Gibraltar has for me. So we're having a nice little walking tour of the main high street in Gibraltar. I mean, it's pretty much just one high street. What's interesting is there's so many independent shops here, like Stag Bros <laughs> or Isola Bella. Uh, compared to like, I feel like most high streets in the UK are just slowly becoming the same exact high street. Uh, there is like two Holland and Barrett's, but that, that's where it ends here really. Oh, there's a Marks and Spencer's. So it's like, it's similar, but very distinct. A lot more independent shops here. Oh, that's a lovely little mosaic. Oh my God, that's a big Monstera Deliciosa. All right, so uh, I wanted to try a special thing from Gibraltar. I don't know if this was invented here, probably not, because this is this here is called a japonesa, which I immediately knew was the Spanish word for Japanese. So it looks like a nice uh, sugar-filled donut with custard in the middle. Wow. Um, that's good. So after exploring all of Gibraltar on foot, we are now going to go into the highest rated of all the museums in Gibraltar. It's the only museum in Gibraltar. There, unfortunately, there's no film in the museum allowed. In the museum. Yeah. Is that how you keep your awards? No, I don't know. The privacy? The, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right, time for a dolphin adventure. We're going to see all types of dolphins. Striped dolphins, killer whales. Killer whales, that's not a dolphin. Do you know how groups of dolphins listen to music? Using their iPod. What? Because a group of dolphins is a, is a pod. Uh. So, explaining the joke, it, you know. <laughs> wow, no one is enjoying my puns on this journey. You might think I'm doll finished with them, but I, I'm not. We didn't end up seeing any dolphins the entire trip. We did see this, though. There is Turtle. There he goes. Yeah, I don't even know if you could see that, but there was a turtle there, okay? I enjoyed just listening to music the whole time. It was nice and relaxing. And then afterwards, we ended up going to dinner before I planned out my next day because I really wanted to see if I could get a really nice photo of a plane taking off. But the next morning, luck was not on my side as the plane decided to reroute and we had to go on an e-bike tour early in the morning. And so I had to stop and hopefully get that photo the next day. Yeah. Now, as Gibraltar is such a small place, I would highly recommend going on this bike tour because we were able to see the entirety of Gibraltar pretty much really quickly, easily. And I just really love cycling, especially on an e-bike where, boy, 
makes you feel like Superman. <laughs> Pretty, very peaceful. On the other side, quite dark. Oh, look at the size of this Monstera. They're so big. Do you think he has a fruit? We're halfway through our e-bike tour of Gibraltar. We've gone through massive tunnels. We just got to see this amazing vista of the beach of a little place called Little Genoa, essentially. The Genoese people that moved here, they wanted to make it look like home, so they did. What's your view on our e-bike tour so far? Absolutely love it. Love it. It's You're, the best way to see Gibraltar. I honestly agree. Well, we got seen so much, and I believe we're going to get to see the runway. You get to cycle over the runway. Sadly, they won't let us do it with the planes coming or they will shoot us, so we'll just have to do it the normal way. Also, fun fact, la mamela is Spanish for tit. So yeah, one of the coolest parts of Gibraltar is you can actually just walk or cycle right over the runway. Obviously, when a plane is not landing, but one of the coolest parts here, I don't know anywhere else in the world you can do this. So after a nice, delicious seafood lunch, we stayed in this area. We ended up going back to see these really beautiful buildings in the little Genoa area. It's just been really lovely to see. This is such a beautiful beach, and yet not many people on it at all. You can't tell because it is so overexposed. Also, I just wanted to point out that uh, this guy right here, he's just a known uh, character, resident in this area, who just sits here all day with his British flag umbrella, wearing a full Union Jack suit just enjoying the beach and he'll talk to anyone who comes up to him but I'm not gonna do that you cheeky little monkey oh shit whoa shit. oh no you got the rut he just has a cold he needs some tissues Whoa, monkey fight. Whoa, dive bomb. Oh, high ground, Anakin. So at the top of the cable car is, yet again, well, the monkey area. Excuse me. However, it just reminds me so much of Jurassic Park. Ooh. There's like monkeys everywhere. You just hear screams of people. We're getting just too close. But also, as you saw, she was just living her life. And a monkey was like, I would like that bag, please. Time to get a cocktail up here. Oh man, there's so many monkeys. Well, that wasn't what I was expecting. I've woken up, I've had some breakfast. Today is our final day in Gibraltar, but I've missed this every single time. <laughs> I'm going to try and get a video of the plane departing for Manchester, Manchester Airport. Runway is right here on the, from the top of our hotel yacht thing. Gonna try and both get video and photo. We've got one minute left. Now, Heather is, is quite obsessed with gin. I'm more of a whiskey guy, but the gin experience at this place right here, made me realize I'm gonna get Heather a little present. My favorite gin of the gin experience. Really cool that the uh, Gibraltar based, based the Gibraltar Gin Company has their own airport store. And then just like that, it's time to leave Gibraltar. Look how much they've changed Gatwick. That used to be tickets. All right, time to uh, head home. Front to the DLR. Ooh, it is nice to be home. Oh boy, we've got such nice lighting. Some nice overexposed legs. That's a little better. Well, I'm now back in my home. Ah, it was a lovely trip to Gibraltar. I really much had a great time, despite the monkeys. The most interesting part about Gibraltar is its history. Like, I think that's really what makes it so fascinating is that it changed hands many times over the years. The Moors, the Spaniards, the English, and all of that you can really see in the architecture. So it's kind of my favorite part. Anyway, I had a good time. Now I'm gonna have some leftover shepherd's pie and get back into editing all the photos that I took from this trip. Thanks very much for following along with my journeys. Hopefully I'll see you along for the next time. Goodbye.